In this video, I want to introduce the branch of mathematics called trigonometry and give you an overview of the main equations you're going to learn about in this topic. Basically, trigonometry is all about triangles. So finding the lengths of missing sides, the sizes of missing angles, and the areas of triangles. You might sometimes hear that trigonometry is technically only about right angle triangles. But in real life, we often use it as a catch-all term for any calculation with triangles. Now, when it comes to exam questions about triangles, the most difficult thing is normally deciding which equations you have to use. So in this video, we're going to do a little flow diagram to show you when to use each equation. Don't worry about understanding any of the equations for now. We're going to do separate videos on each one. I just want to give you an idea of how they all fit together. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to have to think about is whether you're trying to find a missing side or missing angle, or trying to find the area of the triangle. If you're looking for a missing side or angle, then the next thing to think about is whether the triangle is a right angle triangle or a non-right angle triangle. If it is a right angle triangle, then you're probably going to be using the Pythagoras equation or one of the Sokotoa equations. On the other hand, if it isn't a right angle triangle, like say the Scalene triangle, then you'll probably be using either the law of cosines, which we also call the cosine rule, or the law of sines, which we also call the sine rule. Finally, if you're looking for the area of a triangle, then you're going to be using one of these two equations. It's a bit hard to explain which one to use, but basically, if you can find the base and height of the triangle, then you can use this top one. Whereas if you know two sides and the angle in between them, then you can use this bottom one. Again, don't worry if you're not sure what any of these particular equations mean. We're going to be going over each of them in more detail in other videos, and we'll explain exactly how and when to use each one. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of all the equations in one go, so that you can see how they relate to each other. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.